Hey, Johnny Campbell back here with you. Now we have the poured footer, and I wanted to get you a good understanding of uh, how these form boards uh, not only help keep the concrete in uh, at a minimum 12 inches wide for this particular uh, foundation and also uh, 8 inches deep. But if you notice, that is a uh, 1 by 8, and it's only 7 and a quarter, 7 and 3 eighths inches. So I had to make sure that we had a little more room underneath it that I had uh, my exact 8 inches. Um, so, and then we form on top of that, which gives us that 8 inches. Now I want you to see that I pulled away all the concrete here uh, so that it uh, allows me to freely pull up those uh, form boards and also the homeowner uh, wants to have a clean crawl space which is uh, required by code anyway so it's better to do that now while it's wet uh, and if you notice I kind of piled up smaller piles so it's easier uh, and also pull back and get that up making it easier uh, in the next day or so to get that up and let it harden and then have a little struggle getting that um, and over here I've got the same thing and uh, you have some overflow that will overflow which happened in this corner and I made sure that I shovel that away so that when I pull these form boards up in this tight area it's easy to get see this side here you definitely don't want any concrete hard sitting in that yeah, I had some and I just kind of shoveled it back a little bit against the bank to make it free to get that out. Well, anyway, uh, Johnny Campbell here. And uh, remember, if you need anybody to help you uh, with a room addition, and even if you're out of the state, now we have the uh, national code. So pretty much uh, it's all the same. I could consult over the phone. Um, uh, but take a good look at that. That is a really nice looking foundation. And with that rebar, and by the way, once I poured the concrete, uh, we had rebar in the ditch, which you've seen on the early video. I also dropped two uh, 14 inches of rebar in that area there, unlike the other, which I actually wired together. Uh, well, that's me. Like I said, if you uh, want to get in touch with me, don't forget the Columbia Company, 803-665-8889. Uh,